Hello everybody, Galrock Pizza Guy here again, bringing you back another episode of Grey and Skies 2. This is episode 7 today. And the last time we left off, I was uh, getting some more materials processed. I promised we were going to get the uh, automatic sieving quest done this episode, and I plan to do that. Also, spent a little bit of time working on these AgriCraft crops. And in between episodes, I worked on them some more. You can see on the Whaler tooltip there, all these crops I have are maxed out, all 10 stats. So now, let's get some extra seeds. So we'll just go ahead and do that. And get some extra of these max stat seeds to work with. Like so. Well, like so. Alright. Now, what are we going to do with all these other seeds? Well, I've got a plan for that. I'm going to bring them over here. And just start throwing them in there. Each seed is barely a tiny little bit. So it takes a lot of these things to, uh get you a full piece of dirt but that's okay it's not like I'm doing anything else with these seeds right I suppose I could make some seed soup but that doesn't sound very tasty right besides we've got toast and it won't be long we'll be working with pizza so I'm going to do this real quick for a minute I'm gonna be back in just a minute after I get some of these worked out and we're gonna actually start working on actually I'm well I shouldn't have done that one yet that's alright we'll just throw it in the analyzer it'll be safe sitting there for a minute Let's see we finished all those so I'm gonna I'm gonna just take these down for now so I don't have to tend them don't wanna just sit here making sure weeds aren't going to uh, take these over that would really suck don't want that and now I need to regrow one of these anyway, because, you know, I'm a derp and I can't aim where I click. So anyway, I'll be back in just a minute. Okay, I'm back. Got that taken care of. I'm, uh... We, we've got to this point over here. I'm going to try to do most of that stuff between episodes, because, you know, sitting here watching somebody play with seeds is not exactly exciting entertainment, right? So instead, let's work on that automatic sieve. We need an Electrum gear. That's going to be the rest of this stuff we can craft pretty easily. Let's go ahead and melt down the Electrum for that Electrum gear real quick. And as a matter of fact, let's, you can see I've been processing all these ores. Where I made some. There it is. Okay, it'll take... For Electrum, we'll go ahead and show that on any eye. Uh, the actual recipes, crafting recipes, have been taken out. We have to use the casting table with the gear cast for this. So, it's going to take four Electrum ingots. Let's get the ingot cast out of there and put a gear cast in instead. There. Crop sticks away for now. All right. Now, what else we need? We needed a silk mesh. So that's nine string. There we go. And we need a little bit of Envar. Got that ready to go. So, Envar nuggets there ingots there, silk mesh there, and we're just waiting on that Electrum gear now. There it is. Of 
Alright, we've got an automatic sieve. And you can see I've expanded this platform out a little bit this direction. Thought back here would be a good place to set this up for now. But now, we need power. Well, I came up with an idea using these stone generators. Is it? There it is. Oh, maybe we ought to turn that quest in, huh? There we go. Automatic sieving. We get a reward bag. And next we need auto smashing. For that, an automatic hammer. We'll look that up in a minute. Let's see what we get out of this greater reward bag. Ooh, an ender lily seed. That right there is going to be useful. I'll wait until we've got some end stone to plant it on. So, for now, find somewhere I can put it. There we go. Y'all don't let me forget about that thing, okay? In the meantime, let's look at that automatic hammer. There we go. We need a piston, a weighted pressure plate, an anvil, six invar. Let's see. Will the piston use anything other than iron? What will it take? Okay, we can use iron, tin, or aluminum. Awesome. Aluminum is one of those things that uh, you build up so much of it. Oh yeah, there was one other thing I wanted to do. Forgot I had these blocks set aside for it. We'll just do this real quick. Not that we need any of the Tier 2 Tinker's tools right now, but go ahead and upgrade that tool station to a tool forge. There we go. I had the you can see I had the parts together just needed uh just wanted to do that on camera. Anyway, back to what I was working on. Let's get that piston made. There we go. That anvil. Let's see, we needed 6 invar. Anvil is going to take a lot of iron. There we go. Like so, we have an anvil. And we needed a weighted pressure plate. There it is. So let's see, I believe it was like this. Yeah. Automatic hammer. Now you can see I have spent some time leveling up that pick of tears that we put the smashing on. Even got some luck on there. I added one piece of lapis to it. But, uh, you know, as it gains experience, it gains lapis on its own. So you can see that's built up to 29, and it gave it fortune 1. Leveled up haste four times. Got moss on there, which I think we added ourselves. Reinforced. But, uh... And, and this is a great tool, a lot better than the cobblestone one, that's for sure, right? But, uh, you know, it'd be nice to not have to stand there doing that anymore. Well, that's what this hammer comes in. But, just like the sieve, we need power. So let's work on that. As soon as we turn in the quest for the automatic hammer... And we get 64 dust. We'll go ahead and put that in the sieve. Ready to go. Once we have power. Put the rest of that iron away for now. Now, when we start producing power, we're going to need a way to transport it, right? So let's look at, I think, power grid. Or... Actually, there's some good stuff in Power Grid that we can look at, and we will look at, soon. So maybe an assembly line. Let's, let's look at thermal transport. 
we need fluid ducts and item ducts. Both of those opaque. No problem. We can handle that. We should have some lead here. Some tin. Hopefully we have more tin than that. I think I remember. Yeah. Whoops. Go ahead and put all this stuff away and Okay, lots of trees growing at once. Woo! Alright, couple of pieces of tin, couple of pieces of copper. And excuse me for a moment while I eat a whole bunch of roasted clams. Wow. That took a lot of clams. Luckily, we still have our toast. And I even had more ready to go. Alright, now where were we? Oh, yeah. Probably ought to check on this thing. Yeah. We were about to turn in that quest, right? Nope, there's another part. Retriever, filter, and servo. Now, as I recall, the retriever requires... Yep, endirium. So we need to make some endirium. Well, how are we going to do that? We don't even have a power set up yet for induction smelter and all that stuff. Well, luckily... We can make Enderium in the smeltery. You know, actually, I just updated the pack. Let's make sure we can still make Enderium in the smeltery. That might be a good idea. I am on version 1.1.8 now. Let's see. Enderium. Induction smelter, molten Enderium. All right. We make that. There we go. Yep, we can still alloy it in the smeltery. Let's make sure the temperature on that is not too high for lava. Only 500 C, no problem. Okay. So yes, we can still make Enderium in the smeltery. So here's what we need. Enderpearls. And I'm going to do two sets here. Shiny. We need some tin. And we need some silver. Like so. Let's throw all this stuff into the smeltery and let it melt down. While we wait on that, we can work on some of the other parts we need. So let's start with servo. We need redstone, iron nuggets, iron ingots, and glass. Did I ever make more glass? Do I have glass? Ooh. I know I'm going to need the paper also. I do not have any more glass ready to go. Shame on me. Double check my furnaces. Yeah, no luck. Alright, well... Good thing we've still got this. Right? I'm just going to make up a few pieces real quick. Let me get those cooked and wait on that smeltery to uh, finish down. And I'll be back in just a minute. Alright, got that glass cooking up, ready to go. And our enderium is ready to go in here as well. Eight ingots of it. So... Let's put our ingot cast back in, put the transfer node on, and let that sucker run out there for us. In the meantime, let's go ahead and get that first servo made. Should have everything in the inventory we need, and bam, got a servo. Alright, how about a filter? We needed a filter. 
We need more glass. Good thing we got it cooked up, right? All right. There we go. One filter coming right up, or a pair, as the case may be. Only want one set for the moment. So that takes care of that. Let's go get our Enderium out of here. Yeah. There we go. And the Retriever. Oh, we need an Eye of Ender. Well, we can handle that, right? One Ender Pearl. And one Blaze Powder. Just like so, we have an Eye of Ender. Easy peasy, right? And Retriever. Now are we done with the quest? We are done with the quest. So let's get our reward bag. Nope, no uh, power conduits or, or uh, power ducts in there after unlocking that. So maybe we'll unlock... Oh, that did unlock some for us. Oh, okay. Well... Let's start working on the power grid quest line. What do you say? In the meantime, though, good reward bag. What did we get? Red crystals. From Automagi. Are they a crafting component? Have no idea. We're going to have to come back to those when, uh, you know, we get into that stuff. Let's put some of this stuff away for the moment. And I'm going to get ready to start on the power grid quest line. I'll be right back. You know what? I changed my mind. We are going to need some power running on this stuff so that we can start getting resources while we're working on other things. So let's do that. Let's go ahead and get some flux duct. Right? Is that what I want? Yeah, leadstone flux duct. Or maybe, yeah, we can go straight to Hardened Flux Duct, right? Yeah. I don't know that we're going to need that much right away, but... There we go. So let's do that. Let's, we're going to need some lead. We're going to need some Envar. We're going to need some glass. Put this iron away for the moment, because I don't need it. All right. So we need to make some leadstone flux ducts. And I'm going to need more redstone than that, aren't I? This is why we need to get that thing running. Running through that redstone quick. Alright, got those all upgraded. Got one stone generator here. Obviously, we need more than that, though. So, let me show you an idea I came up with. Actually, a, a pretty nifty one, if I say so myself. So, what we need... There they are. Some crucibles. Eh, that'll do. Let's just very carefully close off that end like so. And, uh, need to get some lava down in here. We'll eventually upgrade that where it's not lava. We can do better. But for now, it's what we've got. Now I'm going to go ahead and empty this crucible out because I suspect we're going to be retiring this cobble gen before too long. Well, 
What? Well, that was really weird, whatever that was that just happened. But, okay. I had five buckets worth in that crucible, but... And I know I did. I had them saved up. Oh, well. We'll do this. Whoops. Um, that might be a problem. Wonder if I can get it back. Let's find out. Ha ha! Of course, now I need another bucket of lava there, but that was fun. There we go. So now... We're going to make another world interaction upgrade. Let's see. We've got some transfer pipes around here somewhere. There we go. There's another item transfer node. Put some of this stuff away for the moment. Alright. That should be what we need for now. Except for the world interaction upgrade. So, iron. I need sticks. I should still have some wood here, right? Yeah. And we need lapis. Plenty of that. Alright. Betcha I got it wrong again. Oh, nope, I got it right. Hey! So what I'm going to do make use of this same cobble gen I've already got going. And I'm just going to stick another transfer node on the side there. Now to keep it from connecting with that system, I'm going to run it out. Actually, I could just run straight out this way. Let's do it that way because pipes will hold the water in place. I mean, that's what pipes are really for, right? At least that's that's what my old plumbing experience says. So let's get these things producing some lava for us. There we go. Well, anyway, let me give you a quick idea of what I'm working on here. There's lava for one of these generators. In some testing, I discovered that... I didn't see that happen in my testing. I have to keep an eye on that. But in my testing, I discovered that these generators from, from progressive automation are actually the most efficient use of lava as a power source. Um, on a test, if I remember correctly, the... Uh, the magmatic dynamo from thermal expansion which is normally the go-to power source produced 180,000 RF with one bucket of lava 
this stone generator look at that it's already full and still got plenty of burn time left it produced 400,000 RF out of a single bucket of lava and upgrading that to the iron generator and the diamond generator it still produced 400,000 RF from one bucket it just did it faster so like the stone generator is producing 40 RF per tick for us well the uh, iron one I think produced 80 RF per tick and the diamond one 160 let's see see if I'm remembering that correctly well it doesn't show on the tooltip I'm pretty sure that's what it was though and I mean this is just the most efficient use of lava for our power supply so I'm gonna work on a system that's gonna put buckets of lava into these generators to produce fa power for us now right now we really only need the one but I will expand that system as necessary. And where did I put those? There they are. There we go. We've got power. Turn off any eye for a second there. Got that building up. You can see it's consuming 6 RF per tick. Unfortunately, this really isn't producing a whole lot. You can see we've already used up couple of pieces of dust and uh, there we go finally got a piece of redstone alright that's what we want and the automatic hammer well we'll just go ahead and grab a stack of cobblestone from over there and throw that in there like that now what else we can do eventually we can use this cobble gen setup to automatically insert cobblestone in here for us. I'm not ready to do that yet because I'd really rather have a line of hammers ready to go and then have somewhere to put the output because this thing will fill up and it'll just start spitting the results out on the ground. So that that's that's gonna be a future idea but for now this will work this can do stuff while we are doing other things. I'm going to let that run for a while. Oh, this is producing nicely. And let's turn our NEI back on. Let's look at X asterisk. There we go. There's a couple of upgrades we can put in there. We can use the fortune upgrade, Electrum and Invar with a diamond. And that'll get us better results from our sieve over there. And then the speed upgrade, of course, is going to make all this stuff run faster. But we need pyrothium dust. We don't really have any sulfur right now. So that's uh, a little beyond what we're going to be able to make just yet. Now we can get it out of heat sand, soul sand, or crushed netherrack. But you know we don't have those yet alright I'm gonna let that stuff process for now and uh... right now we don't really need that big fancy setup I was talking about but I am gonna produce it have things ready to go so that uh... next episode I'll be able to show you what I have in mind there and how we're going to completely automate our power production. Okay, this... Aha! Hatchet broke. Let's fix that. Now you know there's only a finite number of times you can fix one of these tools before it's completely irreparable. Can't do it anymore. But fortunately we haven't quite hit that point on this one yet hopefully we'll have uh, some kind of upgraded system going by the time that happens hopefully maybe so let's go ahead and take a look at thermal beginnings we need 
a machine frame. Well, no problem there. Let's look that up. Show you the 10 gear. Now there are two different kinds of 10 gears. We can use the forestry 10 gear, which uses a copper ingot in the center. Or use the the thermal expansion 10 gear isn't even showing in the NEI. That's interesting. Theoretically, I should be able to do this just like we did for the Electrum gear. I'm going to let that melt down, see what happens. And, uh, I'll be back in just a minute. Okay, it worked. Oh, it produced the Forestry 10 gear. Well, no wonder the recipe wasn't showing up. Maybe if I just turn the page. Okay. Well, now we got that figured out. I have come to realize it's pretty much that wrapping up point, ain't it? Well, we'll go ahead and finish this quest out real quick. We need four iron and four glass. Definitely need to get some more glass produced between this episode and next. Let's go ahead and make that machine frame, get that quest turned in. We get a rubber sapling. So I think what I'm going to do, take my crooked axe here. and retire the oak trees from over here and I'm going to uh, start growing rubber trees over here. So I'll work on that a little bit between this episode and next. Don't forget to hit that like button, hit that subscribe button. You can find me on Facebook at facebook.com slash galrockfamily. You can also find me on Twitter at galrockfamily. And until next time, this is Gal Rock the Pizza Guy reminding y'all to tip that pizza delivery driver. We're out there working hard for you. See you next time.